Hey YouTube, it's Cam. I'm back, and I am. This is beta day 29, and as you know from yesterday, I'm finished with the other project, all the smaller pieces, and I have not started the bigger piece, but I will start that and hopefully show you a little bit, at least a start, before beta is over. But I did share with you guys about the um, traveling stitch sampler blanket um, that uh, Maria over at Maria's Quilts, Crafts, and Crochet started it. And then it went over to Karen over at Happiness is Homemade, and then it came to me. So now this is your chance to get in on this project. So um, I'm done with my portion. I have added what I'm going to add, and I'm ready to send it off to whoever wants to be next. So comment down below if you are interested in receiving this blanket. Now, you know, I think once this thing is done, it's going to go back to Maria and she's going to finish it off and I think put a border on it. And that is going to be probably the biggest challenge because everybody's uh, gauge is so different. So let me show you. Okay, first of all, let me show you. I'm keeping it in my little crochet um, granny bottom bag. And uh, I made this from a... Um, a pattern from a, a, a crochet blogger who has since um, passed away and um, but I made this I actually didn't even find out about her and her designs until she had already passed on so uh, anyway I decided that I was gonna keep this project in there and if you can see this is basically just a big granny square and then you cinch it up with your stitches and I lined it and everything so I really love it and I decided that I should use it so I put it in there so what I used on mine let me get out my ball band for you I use Red Heart Super Saver stripes and my colorway is cool stripe so that's what I use and it looks what I have left looks like that I use the size J hook because Maria says she used the size J hook so that's what I use I try not to be too tight with my knitting and I kind of tried to match her gauge as much as I could uh, but I was like third so I had to also try to match the person uh, uh, Karen's gauge as well so I'll show you okay so Maria did this first one I forgot what that stitch was called she talks about it in her video and I did link that in the last video I think or if I didn't I will in this one but she that's hers this the white with the hearts that is uh, Karen uh, over at Happiness is Homemade. And Karen, or Karen, I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name. I need to listen to your, uh, and listen to you say your name. I'm sorry. So that's hers. And then this one is mine. And I did more of a, mine is more open. I try to keep it loose. And basically the challenge was just to actually find a stitch that would work well um, and that you could you have the right number of stitches so that's fine so yeah like I said the challenge is I, I actually think it's probably not gonna be that much of a challenge you just if you just go around um, this whole thing and um, and do the border I think it'll all come out in the wash but you can see all three of our additions this way and yeah we all use worsted weight and uh, I at least I, I can't remember what current used but I did use a slash J hook so that's that for my portion so like I said it's ready and uh, I got my um, pattern my stitch pattern or stitch design from this book that I've had forever. I mean, I paid 20 bucks for this. I don't know how long ago. Yeah, well, maybe I probably got it on sale. I don't know, but I see a price tag of $20. So I was going to show you which one I did. And I think 
So I got mine from the Pico section because you did do Picos and I actually did this very first stitch pattern. That's the one I did. So I, their sample I'm sure is with a smaller uh, weight, a lighter weight yarn and with a smaller hook. But that's pretty much exactly what I did. So like I said, I'm ready to send it. So please, the very first person to comment down below to say that they want to participate, please comment down below. And then once you say yes, I'll give you my email address. In fact, I'll put my email address in the description box. And if you really want to do this... Um, you can email me uh, or maybe I'll just y'all wait till somebody says they want it and then I will send my email address so that you can send me your address and I'll send it right off because it's ready to go um, anyway that is it for beta day 29 I am signing off and I will see you tomorrow for beta day 30